How soon do you want this to get to grand jury? Well, I'd like for it to hit it next week, but we can't do it that quickly. Now, it's better that we get plenty of time to it, especially if other charges are going to be filed. Uh, we want to be sure we cover everything. And, of course, this is a little complicated when we have a death of a person from here that was uh, taken to another county. So I'll have to work with the DA up there and see how they're going to handle their case. I was going to say... It's complicated, but I think we can work it out. It's, there's some logistics involved. Is there anything in this, this case, as you look at it right now, that you find particularly troublesome? Well, jurisdictionally, we have a, a homicide that occurred, at least started here, and ended up in another county. That, but I don't think that's going to hurt our case here. If we can combine the two some way, that, that will be a coordination between myself and the DA. But a lot of issues, a lot of facts that I haven't seen and haven't gotten into, uh, into the case enough to know, but it seems pretty complicated to me. So what issues we're going to run into, we're looking at a homicide, anything from there is going to be possible. With the murder charge, who's being charged with the actual murder? Who's being charged as the accomplice? Well, I can't disclose that at this time. I'll have to discuss that with the sheriff to see what other suspects he may or may not have. Do you have the murder weapon? I can't talk about that either. How does the fact that some of these suspects are related possibly to at least one of these victims play into your investigation and as you go forward with your prosecution? To my knowledge, there may be some uh, affiliation or some relationship between some of the parties. That make any difference usually if there is some kind of family connection or relationship? I mean, with how you move forward. Always. There's always going to be something. Of course, motive is something we don't have to prove. But motive is very important from our standpoint because it, it helps the jury to make decisions in regard to the trial. But uh, we first of all need to determine whether we have a homicide, and then if the motive jumps out at us, we have it. Uh, but anytime you have relationships with families, you're always going to be looking at possible motive. But this time, I don't have any concrete facts on that. That's still under investigation for sure. Would you be willing to say whether or not those suspects have been questioned about that possible motive? Is there any, you know, do you have any privy information about what those suspects have said while they've been in custody? It's still under investigation and I haven't gotten any of that information yet. I'll just have to work with the sheriff's office. They're, they're doing their job. As far as a confession or anything like that? You can't talk about that. I understand. Have you ever seen a case like this before or dealt with one like this before? Well, yeah. I mean, after 20-something years, I've seen a lot of unusual cases, and actually in this district, we've had some unusual ones in Mason when it was part of the district. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, unique, but it's not anything that we haven't seen in some situations. But I haven't seen it in some situations. And what part of it is unique? Well, the way that all, you know, you have two different people involved, and you have a lot of issues with where the crime occurred, and, and then another crime attached to it in another county, that's where it gets unique. Sam, a, this wasn't random. You're, you're pretty confident that this wasn't just uh, a, a bunch of vagabonds just traveling through the area. These individuals knew each other, and, and there was some kind of dispute. Well, I can't answer that either, because now we're getting into some issues that I'm not aware of as part of the investigation the Sheriff's Office is doing. And, uh, I don't want to guess or speculate something that might not be correct. Could these individuals be connected to any other crimes? Well, they may all be connected in any one crime that, that's involved here, but as far as any other crimes, I can't discuss that either, simply because that's part of the investigation. Does the age or, like, physical health of one of these victims play into any of the charges or accelerating those that you might look at? The fact that this was a very elderly woman who was not doing really well, I understand? Well, it plays a part in it, certainly. Uh, an elderly person is a crime for causing the death of an elderly person. And that's just one of the many, there are many homicide possibilities here. And again, when we say homicide, we're talking about a death that's other than natural. And we just haven't decided until the sheriff's office is finished with the investigation exactly where we're going to go with reference to the elderly and whether that has a play in it or not. We're going to look for the bigger charge, whatever it may be, if we have the evidence to prove it. I know you said you've seen everything under the sun, but what were you thinking when you got the call that said, okay, so the caretaker's dead, the elderly woman's missing, now we find her body three hours drive from here. I mean, what was running through your mind this morning when all those pieces were like revealed to you? A complicated, bad, bad murder in San Sebastian. <laughs>